President Trump will also be in New York today to attend the wake of NYPD officer Jonathan Diller, who was shot and killed during what they call a routine traffic stop, allegedly by a career criminal arrested 21 times. Over 1,000 people attended a candlelight vigil in Diller's hometown with heartfelt tributes to the 31-year-old father. He loved what he did. He was born to be a cop. He was born to be a hero. He died being a hero. He died doing what he loved. Now, forever, forever, be a better person because of him. Now, NYPD Sergeant's Benevolent Association president is telling some politicians they, that they say have not backed the blue to stay away from the funeral. Vincent Valley Long is the SB president, SBA president, and joins me now with that message. Uh, good morning to you, Vincent, on this tragic day. Uh, before we get to your message to city council, this outpouring of support for Jonathan Diller and his family is heartening. And now the former president says he is going to the wake. What does that mean to the NYPD and Jonathan Diller's family? Jonathan Diller's family deserves every accolade that, that is presented to them. Whether it be a past president or a sitting president, it, it means a lot because he gave his life. And it, no one, we don't expect to do that day in and day out. We come to work, it's like, it, it's like everything is just a regular day for us. And I, I am just happy to be an individual that represents men and women like that, that uh, they're heroes. I mean, they're, there's, there's no other way to describe them. Without question. And that's why uh, the cover of the New York Post, it's your words. Uh, it says the it says this is your fault unions message to anti-police politicians you are not welcome at hero cops funeral those are your words and the words of your union who are you directing that at and what do you mean it's directed at the city council who seems to believe that criminals in today's day and age should be considered to be the victims of crimes and that the police department and the police officers they come and give their lives day in and day out, they're the ones who, who, are the, who are the villains in this story. What is it like to be a police officer right now in New York City? You know what? I have a lot of pride in what it is that I do, and I think every, every other police officer does. It, it's, it's difficult when you have other people, especially the politicians, that don't feel the same way and are against you, that do nothing but vilify, vilify you. I mean, this is about the kids. This is about our, our children. It's about our families. We send them off to work or, or, or off to school every single day, and we expect them to come home. You know, this is... We don't, we don't need these politicians to turn the laws against us. Yeah. And what they're doing is they, they're kind of, like, degrading what society is right yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, if you... Just look at the statistics. Bail reform was passed in 2019. Mm -hmm. Since then, crime has gone up by 30 percent. In city council, they have those numbers available to them. Why don't they look at that and say, this isn't working, we've got to change something here? Because they have their own agenda. They're not, they're not doing the work of the people, which is what they were voted in to do. Yeah. You know, they, they have their own agenda. They, they don't look at these stats. They think that they, their way is the right way, and they're, they're, they double down on it. Yeah. There's bad this, policy. Uh, there's, that is Jonathan Diller, and that's his one-year-old baby right there. There's this picture that's going viral uh, online, and it shows his son wearing a shirt uh, before, obviously, he died, and it says, my daddy's life matters. And then you think about what happened to him, and it's just even more meaningful, that message. We met this weekend before we knew that this was going to happen, before we knew that this segment was going to take place at the Blue Lives Matter Gala, and you said something that really stuck with me. The NYPD was here before the city council, and we are going to be here after. That's a defiant message, but there's also a lot of anger attached to it. That's why I wrote that letter. There was a lot of anger. I've seen my children. I have four. And he, this is a, a son that'll never know his dad. Yeah. It's terrible. I know. And a, and a wife who will be looking at that child and thinking, I was supposed to raise this beautiful boy with the husband, with the man that I love. We and will that be was there for robbed her. from her. That's exactly right. You will be there for her every step of the way. And I hope that she uh, finds a lot of comfort today with the former president being there and thousands of people uh, being at the wake for her hero husband. It's going to be from 2 to 4 p.m. in Massapequa, Long Island. You will be there, and so will the former president. President, thank you so much, Vincent, for joining us this thank morning you. to honor Jonathan Diller. He True hero. Truly deserves it. Absolutely. Yep.